They came up with that scam in the 1930s, but then revised the price upwards, knowing they're onto a good thing, to two months' salary in the 1940s. <laughs> Apparently, if you send a fiver every day to the presenter of the right stuff, you will live ten years longer. That's something I've heard. We should try that sometime. <laughs> so, uh, so here we are then in the last one of this morning's show, where I'm after your thoughts on credit crunch engagement rings. As Susan Mark and Sean start musings in just a moment, 0207173555 is the number for yours. Uh, and actually, I remember asking exactly this question just a year ago as the credit crunch show really started to bite. And as I recall, you lot were pretty much sold on the idea that rings are more important than economic crises. At the time, we'd learned that Japanese lovers were still forking out two months' salary on the engagement rings, though recent reports, I noticed, recent reports suggest they too have started to cut back a bit. And I guess it's the same story here, where latest research suggests two-thirds of loved-up geezers are now spending just three weeks' salary on the ring, uh, around 1,300 quid, uh, rather than four weeks. And I just want to know if you're okay with that, guys. <laughs> because not everyone can do a Frank Lampard and blow 120 grand on a ring, mind you. That did for Christine's girl next door, isn't it? Then how would you feel, how would you feel on the other side uh, if he gave you a £15 sparkler from Tesco? <laughs> 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 It's, genu it's genuine gold-plated <laughs> silver, Susie. And that's what they said, it's, it's genuine gold-plated silver. <laughs> I think I have to draw the line at the £15 one from Tesco. However, I do think weddings are so unthinkably yeah, expensive these days, and people don't have the money to splash 30 grand on a wedding, you know, we, we, including the engagement ring and that cost. And I honestly, honestly can tell you, providing somebody ha had made an effort to pick something they thought I would like, it wouldn't bother me at so all. Just, just just something quite interesting point as well. Uh, do you think he should buy the ring without you seeing it? I, I, I think it can work either way. I think, I, I think obviously the ring size, they need to know your ring size yeah. and your taste to a degree. And I think a lot of women drop hints.